Welcome to Talent Virtual ECG Training, TVET. This video focuses on ECG paper calibration. I am O Ogunlade, a cardiologist and cardiovascular physiologist. Understanding ECG paper calibration is important for ECG interpretation. This video focuses on ECG paper grid, ECG paper speed, horizontal calibration, vertical calibration, and voltage calibration signal, VCS. The ECG paper grid consists of thick and thin lines. The thick lines divide the ECG paper into big scales. Each of the big scales measures 5 mm by 5 mm. The thin lines divide the ECG paper into small scales with each measuring 1 mm by 1 mm. Looking at this image, this is the ECG paper. So the thick lines, thick lines, thick lines, thick lines. For this strip, it is divided into 16 big scales. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Each of these measuring 5 mm by 5 mm. Whereas, a big box consists of 25 small scales. Each of them 1 mm by 1 mm. With regard to measurements, along the horizontal axis, there is horizontal calibration for time measurement. This horizontal calibration assists in assessment of duration of the waves, duration of KRS complex, then duration of PR interval and QT interval. This is done in at particular speed. The standard paper speed for the machine is 25 millimeter per second. So although 50 millimeter per second exists, the machine should be set at the standard speed of 25 millimeter per second. And at this paper speed of 25 millimeter per second, a one millimeter horizontal distance is equal to 0 0.04 seconds of 40 milliseconds. Now, five millimeter distance is equal to 0.2 seconds or 200 milliseconds. Along the vertical axis, there's vertical calibration for footage assessments. This includes the assessments of the amplitude of the voltage, or uh, the amplitude of the waves or the depth of the waves. It is also important for assessments of segment elevation or depression, be it ST segment elevation or ST segment depression, PR segment elevation or depression. We want to know how far above the isoelectric line is the ST segment is positioned or below it is position. So we want to look at it. For this vertical calibration, one millimeter vertically is equal to 0.1 millivolt. So five millimeter is equal to 0.5 millivolt and 10 millimeter is equal to one millivolt. Looking at this diagram, this is voltage calibration signal is for interpretation of voltage. Then this other diagram is the PQRST, the PQRST complex. So this is the P wave, this is the Q wave, this is the R wave, this is the S wave, and this is the T wave. Let's quickly look at how we can use vertical calibration, horizontal calibration for assessment of the waves and of this complex. 
the this is isoelectric line this horizontal line is isoelectric line isoelectric line this is another isoelectric line this one is PRO segment this one is P uh, S is ST segment this one is ST segment this is PR segment so the first wave here is the P wave let's look at its characteristics the duration and the amplitude for the duration you look at the number of small scales covered by the width of this P wave so one two three so it is three so it will be three times 0 0.04 seconds 0.04 seconds so that means that is 0.12 seconds for the amplitude you count the number of small scales to the peak of the p wave one two three so that will be three millimeter or 0.3 millivolts let's look at the depth of the q waves for the wave below the isoelectric line you get the depth so you assess the depth of q wave the depth of the s wave whereas you assess the amplitude of the p wave of the r of the r wave or the t wave if they are above the isoelectric line now for the q wave so the depth will be one two two millimeter or 0.2 millivolts for the s wave to be one two three that would be three millimeter or 0.3 millivolts can i also look at that of the r wave the amplitude of the r wave one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that would be 10 millimeter or one millivolts let's look at the horizontal calibration for the qrs complex this is qrs complex so we calculate the time uh, that is the duration of the qrs complex just count the number of small holes embraced by the weight of the qrs complex one two three four that gives us four times 0 0.04 that is 0.16 seconds let's look at the duration of the pr interval the pr interval is measured from the onset of p wave to the onset of the krs complex so let's look at the number of small scales uh, embrace one two three four so that will be four times 0 0.04 so that give uh, 0.16 uh, second so this is how to use the horizontal calibration and the vertical calibration to assess ECG. We will focus now on the voltage calibration signal. As I said earlier on, it is uh, used for assessment of the voltage. Now, for this one, the voltage calibration signal is before the tracing, the ECG tracing. It can also be located after the ECG tracing. Now, the standard amplitude of the bar is 10 millimeter so if the machine can decide to reduce the standard by half by a quarter or by one over eight depending on the size of the voltage because the paper this ECG paper is fixed but the voltage the the ECG is not fixed it depends on individual so and the ECG uh, picture that is produced should be able to be encompassed within the ECG paper. So this voltage calibration signal help to adjust the height, the amplitude or the depth of this uh, ECG so that when it is being interpreted, we take into consideration the factor by which the machine reduces it and do the necessary adjust adjustment. Let's see, for instance, we have variety of adjustment here. So how then do we use the voltage calibration signal in amplitude or depth analysis? We have the full standard, we have the half standard, we have the uh, one over four standard, we have one over eight standards. The full standard means that the voltage calibration signal is 10 millimeter per millivolt so the height of the bar of the signal will be 10. 
So whenever any measurement of amplitude or depth is done, you just multiply by one, which will give you the same figure. So that means the measure that is uh, taken is the same. For instance, for this R wave now, amplitude of this R wave, so it should be, there are, we have two up here, five, seven, then plus five, then plus two down. So that will give us 14. So 14 times one is 14. So you leave, you leave the uh, amplitude that is measured. If it is the depth to the depth of Q waves here, that is uh, three. So that will be three millimeter uh, of the S wave here. This is the S wave, not Q. That is the S wave, this R wave. So the depth here is three. The height here of the R wave is 14. So you leave it like that millimeter but for half standard how do we address the situation here you look at the height or the voltage calibration signal is five that means the machine ecg machine has reduced the voltage or the depth by factor of two so you must multiply by the factor by which this machine reduces and this factor here is two let's look at the amplitude of the R wave here. So he has four up here plus five plus four down here. That will give us 13. So so 13. So the real amplitude of the R wave will be 13 times two. That will give us 26 millimeter. Let's look for the uh, other one here. That is the 1 over 4 standard that is the measure is 2.5 millimeter per millivolt you can see the height here the amplitude of the voltage calibration signal is 2.5 let's then let's then assess the amplitude of this r wave this r wave amplitude so it has there's five here there's one here and there is two up here so making eight so the r wave amplitude here we have counted eight but with this voltage calibration signal that is 2.5 you must multiply by the factor which the machine has reduced it, which is four so it will be eight times four that will give us 32 millimeter so r wave in this lead now so though we are reading out eight millimeter so it's actually 32 eight times four 32 millimeter so that can also be done for the s wave let's look at the last one now that is when there's one over eight standard so 1.25 millimeter per millivolt so you can see 1.25 is very very small now let's look at the amplitude of the r wave here the amplitude of the R wave here, we have 5 here plus 2, making 7. So R wave here is 7 millimeter, but the voltage calibration signal is 1.25. That means the machine has reduced this amplitude by a factor of 8. So you multiply by that factor, which is 7 times 8, it will give us 56 millimeter. To ordinary person, it will seem as if this this voltage is small but for people that have insight into ECG interpretation it is very very big it is very very big the, the, the amplitude is, is large so what happened is that you should look at the voltage calibration signal to interpret either the depth the depth or the amplitude of waves be it the P wave the R wave the Q wave the S wave, the T wave, so the amplitude must be adjusted by the factor by which the machine reduces the voltage calibration signal in order to get the real amplitude or depth of waves. If you have benefited from this video, kindly subscribe to my channel to receive more videos. Thank you.